we didn't have permission to I don't remember us having permission to go into all the buildings but the main one that I can remember that we could go into was the State Fair Music Hall and the State Fair Music Hall we could go there but the other buildings there was some of the other buildings if not all but I will go so far to say there was some of the other building that we did not go in. But the State Fair Music Hall, what rings the bell with me so very, so very clearly is because back in the early 50s, that was Mahalia Jackson. She had an engagement to come to Dallas to the State Fair Music Hall to do a concert. And here in Dallas, I won't go so far to say all the black ministers, but mainly the black ministers of the black of the Baptist churches. They let us out of night service so we could be at the State Fair Music Hall in time to greet her. And what the pastor would say at that time, we're gonna turn you out. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna turn our church. <laughs> so you can be there on time. So, I can verify, the Baptists did. We had, we packed out that State Fair Music Hall. We were there. Uh, they eased the curtains back and came to the podium. One of the, one of the, the spokesperson, who would be one of the black ministers, uh, we have a pro we have we have a problem. Problem. What, 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 what is that? But we are short of the money. And she said that she ain't gonna utter a tone until the money's right. So what we are going to do as pastors of the church, we're gonna serve as special ushers and, and come out there among you and took up the shortage. She said she was not going to utter a tone. They came out there among us with them cups and buckets and hats and things. When they got through among us, that money was right. When the money got right, they closed the curtains. After a while, they eased them back again. And when they eased them back and kept on turning, they opened them all the way. Mahalia stepped out and came to the mic and she sat down. They handed her an envelope. She said, I'm going to look in the envelope first. When she looked in it, it took her something like about a good 15 minutes to go through all that. She said, looks like we're fixing to roll. <laughs> when their sister took that mic and started her first song, she knew the one to pick to arouse the black folks' emotions. See, we are all nearly mm -hmm. Baptists in a way. Now, some of us are more emotional than others are, other Baptists are. I'm missionary. I'm, I'm that stomping group. <laughs> Clapping it. Music up high. <laughs> Swaying. So, when she took that mic, she decided to do a certain song to get us off those benches on that floor swaying and a hollering and a stomping and a praising. And the title of her song was Move On Up A Little Higher. But now see, we don't say how, we say higher, okay? 
Now we know the word is high. We know that educational wise, we, we know that. But the song was move on up a little higher. When she took that mic and started, and when she got one verse over in going into the chorus, then she stepped back. She said, "I said." Move on up just a little higher. Less than a good five minutes. There were no drives. Those who hadn't fainted passed out. <laughs> she did one, she didn't go through. Did one number. She used to do a whole concert. She used to one song. She part of the one song. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Well, who who you gonna sing to when they're passed out and fainting? Who who's 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 out of here? So she had to stop. She left with that money and did not do half of that one song. I'm going to 